All right, this review will be of the Aventon Pace 500. And I have now owned this bike over a year. I bought it in July of 2021 and it's September of 2021. So it's out of warranty. Uh, the mileage, I haven't been getting as many miles on it because my old commute was 10 miles each way. So 20 miles a day. Oops, we turn it on. And now my commute's only four, there it goes, only four miles each way, so eight times five is only 40, so I'm doing, what, 60% less riding? So here you can see the display, you can light it up, which I never do, I don't ride at night much, but I'm at 1542. You know, out the door, this thing was like, I think 16 or 1700 with taxes and all that. I paid a hundred bucks at the bike shop to have it assembled. <clears throat> definitely, uh, definitely worth the money for this thing. You know, it's basically a dollar a mile. You know, I just have um, one other car that my wife drives, so it saves us a whole nother car. Um, you know, obviously gas, taxes, insurance, and repairs, maintenance, all that crap that comes with a car plus we have this nice big wide open garage space since we don't have a second car so we can store we got her bike in here we got my bike in here we got all this other fun some other bikes kids bikes and just some nice area to to chill out so makes for a nice you know and then this thing we can anyways off topic for that but <laughs> why i don't like having two cars or having one only so but yeah, this thing's holding up great. I'll show you the front tire tread. Um, I don't know if the video can show how good it is, but these are basically brand new. These front tires haven't worn at all. The back tires I was pretty nervous about, and they're holding up really good too. So I'm, I mean, I would think these probably have another year in them at the rate they're going. They're really holding up great. I don't know what they got on there. Quick 7.5 Sport. KSE by 59er, so those things are holding up pretty good. Um, you know, the chain looks good. The motor seems great. You know, the disc brakes, I, I'm gonna have them serviced. I don't even know what I'm looking at in there, so if, you know, they stop fine, I'm not, I have no issues with them, you know, they're, so I'm gonna have those checked by a bike mechanic that knows what they're actually looking at. Uh, seat's still comfy, you know, it's certainly not the, not the greatest seat in the world, but it gets the job done, so. Like the pedals, comfy, they got these little knobs on them for good grip, so I've been real happy with those. Um, battery's fine, I actually started charging it right on the, right on the battery, or on the bike, so I got this outlet right here, and I used to take it off and do this whole thing, it's got a little, lever you gotta put the key in it's a big pain in the butt and finally i was like you know i'm just gonna start charging this thing on the bike start getting lazy um this is mine i added a little light just for you know night riding or whatnot so just for safety um again handles look brand new i don't know what that is got some dust on there or something but little ergo handles are great they're comfy throttle looks good all the connections look good paint still looks good um no complaints. I mean, you know, these things are a little, a little spongy, you know, but I mean, again, when I get it serviced, I'm sure they'll tighten those up and bleed them or whatever they, I don't know anything about it, but I'm sure they'll do what they need to do. And if I need to pay a hundred bucks, whatever, you know, it's just so, so, so much cheaper than having a car, you know, so pay maybe a hundred bucks to get the, the bike serviced, have the brakes tightened up and if they need to do anything with those disc brakes, but Tires look great. Um, I got those Tannis under, or not under armor, Tannis armor liners. I don't know if I'd get them again or not. When I got them, I was living in the desert. It was a nice peace of mind because I got so many cactus needle flats. Around here, the only thing I get are these little rocks. You see them right here, they're, just, they're not gonna pop your tire. You just, I use a toothpick and get them out, so. But they're not gonna pop your tire, so I, and those weren't cheap either. I think they were like buck fifty installed, hundred fifty bucks, maybe hundred twenty five. I don't remember, but they weren't cheap. So if I got to do over, I probably wouldn't get those. 
and they made the bike a little heavier and they rode a little they rode a little softer which was nice since there's no front fork it is a little bit bumpy um, but it also seemed to have a little more drag on the tires like the the mileage seemed to get a little bit worse so i'd probably if i got a do-over i probably wouldn't get them and just save the money but who knows not unhappy with them but overall would definitely buy this bike again i think they've since come out with a new version that's a little bit you know, these lines are a little bit more like strong, kind of older, kind of classic lines. And I think the one that I've seen, I haven't seen it in person, but I've seen it online, it's more of a kind of a blended, like I think the battery's a little bit more integrated as opposed to here, it just sticks out, you know. I think it's a little more integrated and I think some of the lines are a little bit softer, but I think functionally it's the exact same bike. So definitely wouldn't hesitate to get it. Again, the only thing I'd be cautious of if, if you need a front suspension, this one doesn't have it and definitely feel that sometimes. Um, the big thing I did when I adjusted my riding style was I just slowed down a few miles per hour and that way you're not hitting the bumps as, as fast. So 1,500 miles, a little over a year, zero buyer's remorse. Definitely feel like I got my money's worth and really happy with the purchase. And um, yeah, knock on wood, I'll probably go get it serviced after the winter next spring. Um, you know, pay 100 bucks, 150 bucks, get the brakes tightened up, get the, have them look at the chain if you need a new one, whatever, and should be pretty straightforward. Like I said, this back tire is looking really good. I'm going to ask the bike shop. I don't know if you ever rotate the tires or if that's not a thing, but I mean, this thing's like brand new, so maybe you throw that on the back and then throw this old one on the front. Maybe they'll wear even, but no idea. So, all right, and then a little message I wrote on my door that I leave. Since I got a wife and a kiddos, right safe.